A 3,400 year old city once located on the Tigris River has emerged from under its waters in Iraq, giving a peek into the Mitanni Empire that existed in the area between 1500 to 1350 BCE. The settlement emerged from the waters of the Mosul Reservoir earlier this year as water levels rapidly fell due to the extreme drought in Iraq. The extensive city with a palace and several large buildings could be the ancient Zaki Kuk, believed to be an important center in the Mitanni Empire. In this episode, I talk about what the researchers found and why the serendipitous find is so exciting for the research team. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Mitanni, also called Hani Galbat or Hani Rabat in Egyptian texts, was a Hurrian speaking state in northern Syria and southeast Anatolia. The exact origins of the empire is still not well understood. There are several hypotheses surrounding how and when the empire came into existence. While some suggest that the empire was already quite powerful by the second half of the 16th century BCE, other theories suggest that the empire rose sometime around 14th century BCE. Interestingly, the Mitanni kings and other members of the royalty bore names of Indo-Aryan origin and invoked deities attested in the Rig Veda. Iraq is one of those countries in the world with, that is most affected by climate change. The south of the country in particular has been suffering from extreme drought for months. To prevent crops from drying out, large amount of water has been drawn down from the Mosul Reservoir since December last year. This led to the reappearance of a Bronze Age city that has been submerged decades ago without any prior archaeological investigations. It is located in the commune in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. This event put archaeologists under sudden pressure to excavate and document at least parts of this large important city as quickly as possible before it was resubmerged. A team of Kurdish and German archaeologists decided to take the joint rescue excavations at Kimu. These took place in January and February this year. The team for the rescue excavations was put together within days. The team was under immense pressure because it was not clear when the water could rise again. Within a short time, the researchers succeeded in largely mapping the city. In addition to a palace which had already been documented during a short campaign in 2018, several other large buildings were uncovered. A massive fortification with wall and towers, a monumental multi-storey storage building and an industrial complex. The extensive urban complex dates to the time of the Empire of Mitanni, which controlled large parts of the northern Mesopotamia and Syria. The building is of particular importance because of enormous quantities of goods that must have been stored in it, probably from all over the region. The excavation shows that the site was an important center in the Mitanni Empire. The team noted that the walls, sometimes of the height of several meters, were very well preserved despite the fact that the walls are made of sun-dried mud bricks and were underwater for more than 40 years. This good preservation is due to the fact that the city was destroyed in an earthquake around 1350 BC, during which the collapsing upper parts of the walls buried the buildings. Of particular interest is the discovery of five ceramic vessels that contained an archive of over 100 cuneiform tablets. They date to the Middle Assyrian period shortly after an earthquake disaster that struck the city. Some clay tablets, which may be letters, are still in their clay envelopes. The researchers hope this discovery will provide important information about the end of the Mitanni period city and the beginning of the Assyrian rule in the region. According to the researchers, the fact that the cuneiform tablets made of unfired clay survived so many decades underwater is close to a miracle. To avert further damage to the important site by rising water, the excavated buildings have now been completely covered with tight-fitting plastic sheets and covered with gravel fill as part of an extensive conservation project. This is intended to protect the walls of the unbaked clay and any other findings that are still hidden in the ruins during times of flooding. The site now once more is completely submerged. 
This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at the print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to the print. You can do so through the link in the description box below. Mm -hmm.